Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Marvel Legends Jack-O-Lantern figure. Which, even though it's mostly reused parts, it's a really appealing figure to me. Uh, there are some parts of it that I really, really hate, uh, but I think it's the head. It just sells me on it. It looks so cool. And there's a fair amount of paint. They painted all the buckles. Well, not all of them, but most of them. So... Uh, I'm pleased with it. I have to say I'm not too disappointed with this figure. But let's take a look at it anyway. He stands roughly to the top of the fire, about seven and a quarter inches to the top of the head, closer to uh, six and three quarter. And that makes him just to the top of the head about 17 centimeters. So he's pretty tall and lanky. He uses a lot of reused body parts. So it's not there's not too much new there, but what they did use, they handled very well, like I said. Very nice coloring on him, lots of paintwork, so that's good. Sometimes on these figures, it just takes a little bit of paintwork, which is why the Marvel Legends line is so disappointing. They could do so much better without spending too much money. Oh, well, okay, let's look at the figure more. He's got some accessories. He has this thing, which is like a stick that's on fire. Not the best looking accessory. I don't know if this is supposed to be orange also. It looks like it probably should be painted, but maybe it's not. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with the character. Translucent plastic is well done, though, and there is paintwork on it, so pretty cool. And then on this piece, it's like a sickle with a handle, like a little extra handle on there. It's not too bad. There's paintwork on it, and it doesn't look too bad. It's a little warped, uh, but it looks pretty good. And then lastly, we get a little tiny translucent, I guess it's a pumpkin. I can't quite tell what that image is on there. It's very small. Maybe a smile? I don't think it's a smile. I don't know what it is, but there's a little image on there. So nicely done translucent plastic with the uh, shaded coloring on it. And yes, I know, almost every figure has the shading wrong. It should be lighter, closer to the heat source, and then go darker as it goes away. But uh, nobody does that, and it still looks cool this way, so whatevs. Uh, the head is really, really well done. I love the head on this figure. I love it. Mine has some paint issues. You can see next to the eye right there, there's kind of like an orange spot that's not the right color orange. But having the two pieces, well, it's actually three pieces, uh, both the eyes and then the piece around the head of the translucent plastic to look like the fire, then the head being sculpted and painted with that nice wash, it looks really darn good, like impressively good. I like that a lot. If the paint was a little cleaner, it'd be nicer, obviously, but it's still really, really well done. And then, like I said, the rest of the figure has nice paint application. So, very nice looking figure to set on your shelf. Let's take a look at the articulation. The head can lean forward. doesn't go back too far, but it can lean forward. And then, of course, we have our full swivel shoulder articulation. It's pretty limited due to the way it's sculpted, but it does look pretty good. Uh, it's not my favorite design to have, like, ratchets like that in the shoulder. And then the fact that it can't go up is problematic. The bicep area is sculpted really poorly. I don't like the way it looks. It's very lumpy, not great, but you do get a bicep swivel and a double jointed elbow, which gives him decent range of motion. It's not great, but it's okay. And you get a thigh, a thigh swivel. You get a thigh swivel in his wrist, which would mean you get a wrist swivel. For the torso, he does have an ab crunch. A little bit of a paint miss right there, but most people probably won't have that. Ab crunch works pretty well. Waist twist is fine. The straps are soft, so they won't get in the way. Hips are Y-jointed, so that's also a problem for me. But they do give you good range, and you can get around it, so no problem there. Double-jointed knee, really good range of motion. And then for the ankle, we have a nice hinge that goes really far back and pretty far forward, and an ankle rocker. So that's pretty good. I like the uh, articulation on this guy for the most part. I wish they weren't Y-jointed hips, but they still work well. Uh, one thing that bugs me is the packaging warps him really badly to be knock-kneed, which I don't get why they do that. They could just not make the packaging do that, but a hair dryer will fix it, so no big deal. So I definitely recommend this guy. It's a really cool-looking figure. It should be in stock at Big Bad Toy Store if you look. Hopefully they haven't sold out of this wave yet, uh, but I would suggest you give it a look because it's a really nice figure and mostly a nice wave of figures in general. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see my upcoming figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. And in the meantime... Keep collecting.